You want something? Good morning, sir. What can I do for you? An innovation from MedTech. The My First Infirmary will automatically diagnose and treat any injury you might sustain. It will also make any of the pesky rads you've accumulated in the wasteland vanish instantly. From the keen minds at MedTech, the My First Laboratory will instantly detoxify you, removing any nasty addictions from your body. Knowing what you're addicted to, it might blow out the program altogether. If you're feeling the need to experiment, just set the lab to brew, and a day later it will produce a random, useful compound. Remember that while the lab is brewing, you can't use the detoxify functions. The Nuka-Cola machine will dispense ice-cold Nuka-Cola. Once you've dispensed eight of them, the machine will have to be restocked in order to make regular Nuka-Colas ice-cold. If you come across any schematics in the wasteland, you'll be able to construct its contents on this specially designed table. Yes, it's common knowledge that the irradiated cats have 18 half-lives. You have yourself a fine day, sir.
Stop right there. I don't know how you got in here, but... Hold on. Wait a minute. It's you! I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. Amada's message. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'd keep that under your hat for her sake. She could get in real trouble if people found out she sent you a message. So could I, just for talking with you now. Let me bring you up to speed. It seems like it's been a mighty long time. The night you and your dad left, everything went crazy. Between the bugs and the confusion, we lost a lot of people. When your dad opened up that gate, he let loose a whole lot of... crap. If you'll pardon my language. Really? Well... That would explain a few things, all right. It's a good thing you're here after all. After that night, a lot of your friends started thinking, if it's safe to go outside, why stay down here forever? And that's not the sort of thing the Overseer likes to hear. Things have gotten pretty tense. I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you into the Overseer, but frankly, I know better than to try that. Meanwhile, some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you. Now more than ever. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if you were never here. Out of respect for your dad, I won't even tell anyone I saw you. Okay, let's try this slowly. When you and your daddy left, there were problems. Those problems were bad. Amada and some others said we should try opening the door and going outside more. The Overseer said that was bad too, and he got angry. Now just about everyone's angry down here. And things are still bad. Really bad. It's not that they want to leave. It's that they want to open the door and interact with the rest of the world. But that would risk the whole vault. I guess you've had a lot on your mind since you were here last. Where do you want to go? Okay. Follow me. here. This doesn't look good. You know I can't do that, Freddy. Now get back down below before I have to do something we'll both regret. What? You're gonna lock me up like you did to Brotch? You can't cage a tunnel snake, man, because we rule! Stay back! You don't belong here anymore. Taylor, stop shooting, damn it! Don't you know enough to stay away? I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. I just wanted to scare him off. But he had a knife. I can't be too careful with those rebels. I tell you, I'm scared of them. I never know when they're gonna try something dangerous. 
I lost my poor wife Agnes is what happened. And all the chaos and fighting, her old ticker just couldn't take it anymore. Yes, you do. I guess you can see how bad things are down here. Sorry, where were we going? As chance would have it, she was one of the first people to talk about life outside the vault after you left. No surprise. She always did like you. I hope you can talk some sense into her. Or maybe the two of you can come up with some other plan. Just be careful about it. Amada's up there, in the clinic, with the rest of them. I'd take you closer, but they don't get along with security. Good luck. Hello. You don't belong here anymore. Oh, look. The bad seed is back. More kids looking to get us all killed. Now it's up to security to keep them in line. After what happened to Vicky and my boy that night, your corpse should be strung up as a warning to anyone else who thinks about heading outside. Yes, you do. Damn. Look who's come waltzing back into the vault. It takes some real balls coming back here after everything you and your dad screwed up. But if you've got to be back, might as well make yourself useful. You gotta help us. Because you're a goody two-shoes, right? You get off on helping people in trouble. Isn't that why you saved my mom? I bet she'd thank you herself, but she and I ain't exactly on speaking terms at the moment. At least, not when she's sober. But I tell you, your old man had the right idea. I can't stand it down here anymore. You gotta help me get out. Because anything up there has got to be better than a lifetime of the same thing down here. Think about it, man. Down here, I'll always be stuck with the same job, with the same food, with the same people forever. You and your dad had the right idea. Get out of this pit and make your own life. The damn goat said I'm supposed to be a hairdresser, but that ain't me. I'm a barber, you got that? There's a difference. I'll start a gang, of course. Why, it'll be the toughest, coolest, badassest gang the Wasteland's ever seen. Hey, play your cards right, maybe I'll even let you join it, huh? Yeah, but I'm thinking it'll be a new gang. We ain't gonna just be in tunnels, you know. Besides, there's gonna be a lot more people who want to join. Competition's gonna be tough. Because you've always been a goody two-shoes. So when I need help, it's what you're gonna do, right? You're gonna help Amada anyway, right? Just make it so we can leave the vault, and I'll leave and never bother you again. I heard old Stanley complaining a lot of the stuff down in the reactor got fried pretty bad. Uh, nothing too bad, yet. But he's always worrying we'll lose air filtration or whatever. Of course, if that happened, guess we'd all have to leave the vault then, huh? Catch you later, maybe. It's good to see you again. You're alive!
I hate that this whole thing has turned us against our families. But we just can't keep living down here forever. I mean, look at this place. A lot of security got wounded, and worse. In all the confusion, we still don't know who's responsible for some of them. Yeah, see you. Oh, it's good to see you're back from outside. It can be dangerous out there for someone your age. Oh dear, we aren't asking for anything special. The vault's been open before, but for some reason everyone tries to pretend it wasn't. I guess they try to forget the poor souls who never came back from out there. My poor grandson Jonas died is what happened. They say it was just an accident and all the confusion, but I know it was the overseer. Oh, please be careful. It's good to see- Oh my god, you're back! You got my message and actually came back! You. Everything's gone crazy since you left, and now that you're back, you can help set things straight. I just wish we could have saved more people. Jonas and, and the Hannons and so many others died that night. It was bad enough they died because my father was trying to keep the door closed, but then I found out it was all to protect a lie! I found out the vault wasn't always closed. They've lied to us about it for our entire lives! I heard we sent a couple of scouts outside long ago. Maybe the suit was theirs. The vault was open for a while, but for some reason they closed it off when we were babies and everyone swore to deny it had ever happened. But then Jonas died, and they're keeping us locked in here, all to protect that fantasy of remaining untainted by the outside world! It's not that simple. Just because Butch wants to leave this place behind doesn't mean the rest of us want to go away forever. It's our home, and we want to stay here. It's just that, since you left, we started thinking maybe the outside wasn't something to be afraid of. But we can't even suggest going outside to communicate or trade at all. Not with the Overseer keeping us trapped down here. You need to stop him! Don't you get it? We don't want to abandon the vault. We want to open it. We still want this to be our home, but we want to get supplies from outside. Trading, exploring, anything's better than just hiding down here. I just don't know. Maybe he thinks he's protecting us, but all he's really doing is condemning us. I thought parents were supposed to want a better world for their children. Well, there's a new world waiting right outside that door. And we're not going to give up until we can reach it. The real problems came after you two left. The injured had nobody to turn to since our doctor had run off and his assistant had died. Now, we've got to rely on that old Mr. Handy for most of our medical needs. And he hasn't exactly got the best bedside manner. Ever had an examination from someone with cold, metal pincers? You don't want to! I certainly hope so. We can't keep going on like this. You will? Thank goodness for that. No matter what I say, he just doesn't listen. He just spends all day up in his office. But you've actually been outside, so you can tell him what it's like with first-hand experience. Just please don't do anything rash or hurt him, alright? Yes, but he may have done some terrible things, but he's still my father, you know? Please, for my sake, don't hurt him. You again. Morning. Wow, you're back. I 
I wouldn't call us rebels. I mean, we don't agree with the Overseer, but we still love the Vault. We just want to try going outside, too. Mom and little Monica got caught in the fires. I tried to get them out. I really did. But it was just too hot. I know it wasn't your fault, but my dad doesn't think as highly of you. You wouldn't want to hear what he said he'd do to your dad, either. Later. It's good to see you again. Hey, good to see you again. I tell you, those guards are getting nastier every day. One of these days is going to turn real ugly, but I'll be ready for it. The Overseer thinks he's in charge of us, just because it's his job? Well, nuts to that! We do what we want, and we want to open the vault! Paul got bit real bad by some of those rad roaches, but he thought he could tough it out. If we'd had a doctor to treat him, he might still be here. Yeah, see ya. Ah, another patient. What's it to be, eh? Appendectomy? Tonsillectomy? Hysterectomy? Ah, yes, a rather unfortunate incident. In all the commotion, Miss Beatrice suffered a rather bad sprain in her left toe. The big one. Obviously, I had no choice but to amputate the leg. Yeah, I'm sorry to say the operation was uh, not a uh, success. But of course, with your father's departure from the vault and Jonas's untimely demise, the overseer had to take swift action. <laughs> and so he named me the new vault medical practitioner. A marvelous decision, if I do say so myself. I am fully equipped, after all. Um, actually, uh, no. Uh, I'm afraid I've been, uh, what's the human term? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, fired. I've been reassigned to cleaning detail. My first duty is, somewhat ironically, cleaning the clinic. Ah, oh, surgery was fun while it lasted. Ah, oh, human problems for human heart. I don't trouble myself with such petty affairs. My work is my life. And, as you can see, I've been quite busy. Of course, of course, don't let me keep you. all safe and snug inside Vault 101. It's so cold down here. I never thought you'd be back. Colder still with Catherine gone. Oh, Catherine. I so wish you were here with me. How the hell am I supposed to do this by myself? Live down in this hole. Take care of our child. But this is our life now. So I guess I'd better get used to it. The overseer who runs the place the is an overbearing mind. bully. But I've dealt with worse.
You never should have left, kid. Now we'll make sure nobody ever leaves again. Just leave us alone. You've done enough damage. I don't know that I should be talking with you. It's just a phase they're going through. Every kid thinks they want to leave the vault at some point, but we all grew out of it. With all of the bugs and fires, there was an awful lot of strain on the systems down on the reactor level. Our water chip's pretty delicate right now, but I'm working on setting her right again. Yes, you do. Why won't you just leave us alone? You've done enough damage. Can't you just leave us alone? Those kids are risking our entire vault just because they're bored. It's horrible. The bugs were horrible, but my family was pretty lucky. But then my Freddy went and got caught up with those idiot rebels. Yes, you do. You don't belong here anymore. You're back again? They're a bunch of hellions, that's what they are. I'm at my wit's end about them, I really am. It's all kind of blurry for me, but I hear I owe you for saving me. But don't expect much. 
The whole thing was your dad's fault in the first place. Yes, you do. Oh boy, are you in trouble? What do you expect from idiots like them? I'm just glad I was done with Butch's stupid gang before they got involved in all this. You should have seen my pop. He personally saved old Stanley. But guess you wouldn't know what it's like to have a hero for a dad, would you? Yes, you do. Why won't you just leave us alone? You've done enough damage. Change the overseer's mind. It's been a while, kid. I guess the goat couldn't have predicted how you'd turn out, could it? Remind me to add a question about rescuing your teacher from the vault jail. If the vault ever goes back to normal, that is. By the way, while I was in there, I heard some worrying things from the guards. I heard one of the guards talking about some sort of plan to raid Amada and the rest of us. I didn't hear anything else. But I think he read it on the security terminal. So maybe you can find more there. I'm sure it's bad news for us all. Most of them are just kids who are caught up in the idea of seeing the world. But I know we've got to actually open the vault if we want to survive. Otherwise, we're just going to dwindle away down here until it's all too late. It was pretty rough, I'll tell you. I know a lot of folks blame your dad. I know he didn't mean to cause all that. Don't blame him or yourself. Watch yourself down here. Well, I see you've returned. Done with the dust and ruins of the wasteland, are you? Given up looking for Daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing curfew? Well, that's too bad. You have no future in this vault. You're tainted. That would be where you're wrong, young man. By locking down this vault, I'm protecting its future. In fact, 
I was protecting its future when I had to make those unpleasant choices the night you and your father abandoned us. I only wish I could have stopped your father before he left. If anyone's to blame for the unpleasantness, it's him. Aha! You're paying attention! Good for you. These vaults were designed to be safe havens for humanity, you see. But more than that, they were designed to test and protect us. And none more so than our Vault 101. We are to be a pure and protected breed of humans, never tainted by the ravages of the war above. And what makes you so certain about that? I can't imagine you're still so naive after spending time in that hell outside. None of them know what the outside is like, and most of them would die out there. Then the rest of us inside would eventually die out too. I won't risk all of our lives just for a few people's passing fancy of taking a wasteland vacation. I hope you can understand that. They have to understand that we did that to keep them from going outside and getting killed. To keep them from making the same mistake our generation did when we were their age. Some of us already lost loved ones out there long ago. We won't lose any more today. To fix what you started? Go ahead and humor me. I expected nothing less from you. and start something. I dare you. It's good to see you again. It's good to see you again. I never thought you'd be back. I just heard. The Overseer, my... My father is dead. What's more, some of the people are saying I should be the new overseer. It's just all so sudden. I'm sure you did everything you could to find another way. I know how stubborn he is, how, how stubborn he was. But you're right. I don't have time to grieve just because I lost my father. The vault needs a leader now. That makes the rest of this even harder. I realize that, and I don't blame you. If you hadn't been here, maybe one of us would have done the same. You saved us. But that doesn't change the fact that you killed the Overseer in cold blood to do it. And I can't let that sort of thing stand here. I'm sorry. You're a hero, and you have to leave. I'm sorry, but you have to leave. Goodbye. Sorry to see you go. Maybe the 
the one who is waiting for you will prove untrue. Then what will you do? Maybe you'll sit and sigh, wishing that I were near. Then maybe you'll ask me come back again and maybe I'll say Come back again. 